So here's the line dynamics demo, which deals with the element of line. Um, this project was created by art educator Mary Stewart. She wrote the really um, helpful book called Launching the Imagination. Um, and I was lucky enough during my time at the University of Georgia to have a um, Skype conversation with her in an art education class with my um, peers. So now, um, yeah, we'll begin the demo. I'll show you some materials and examples. So um, just get a sheet of computer paper, eight and a half by 11 inches. I've also recommended getting the Canson mixed media paper pad that's 11 by 14 inches. If you don't have it, that's okay. Um, paper paper is a great option as well. Since we're using pen and marker, you don't have to worry about wrinkling as you would with ink. Gather different felt tip pens markers. I have a Sharpie marker in this collection, so you just get thick lines, thin lines, a whole variety. Here's a homemade straight edge. It works like a ruler and helps you make those really rigid, straight lines. You can also use a roll of tape to get those curvilinear lines that look kind of circular. And here's a tip for whenever you use a straight edge. You can um, just make sure you let it rest for a while before lifting it up. Sometimes that can cause smudging with your ink. So just um, take your time to get those really clean lines. And now we're done with materials, we'll move on to some examples. I'll show you how I made this drawing um, throughout the demo. Um, it is non-objective, so you see it's not really referencing anything that we can name or that we recognize. It is simply lines on a sheet of paper. So check out these examples by my um, very talented students from past courses. Um, this one has a lot of designs. It's very dense. This one has a lot of organic shapes and a lot of contrast as well. Big thick lines and a lot of white space. This almost seems dimensional. So everything kind of converges to that point in the upper right hand area. And here we have a lot of kind of geometric lines. A lot of 90 degree angles. So it has some rhythm there. Um, this drawing has organic lines versus that really kind of rigid, straight, horizontal line in the center that bisects it. And um, here we have another kind of this dizzying ray of pattern. So hope this inspires you. We'll get one more look at the demo drawing. So you'll just kind of see where we're going and then I'll walk you through the creation step by step. So I started with a very faint, broken line, um, made another line that mirrored it, then another. So I drew these free hands. They have that innate flow, and there's some little gaps between them, so they seem pretty faint and gentle. Think about the word gentle. It alludes to the line's character or personality. So now I use the straight edge or that notebook and um, put the permanent marker against it really bore down on the paper and made these bold lines and they're pretty continuous too you know they don't stop or letting that white paper show through continuous that's a line quality it just describes the way the line looks um, to the left you can see the lines are starting to get a little dense they almost read as a gray or they create a lot of visual weight your eye tends to rest there so density, which means the amount of black lines compared to white paper, um, it's a form of optical mixing. So the more lines you have in one area, that reads as a shadow or a darker value. When you have the less lines, so there's more white paper, less line, less mark there, that reads as a gray or even like a like a lighter value or white when there's no lines at all. So again, that's density. Optical mixing is the amount of lines within a certain area to create a value or a black, gray, or white. We're getting super dense in that kind of middle area right there where there's a lot of tiny little lines getting real close to one another. But we don't want to get too focused on one spot. So we got to kind of, whenever you're drawing, you want to move around your picture plane so you don't neglect other areas. Everything should be important. So we have the semicircle to the left, bringing it to the right for balance, continuing another circle to the right, 
And um, yeah, just keep making these curvilinear lines. They're gonna just kind of occupy the whole whole picture plane. So you wanna kind of imagine that your composition is like a, a pinball game. So you want your eyes to kind of move around these grooves, bounce around obstacles. So you wanna go from left, right, up, down, and just keep your viewer engaged and involved with this um, drawing you've created. Um, this is a personal tick of mine, so I usually like to go to the very edges of my drawings and sort of just rein everything in, make it almost like a periphery. So I guess I'm borrowing that from um, like graphic novel or comic book traditions where you have the panels and there's a big thick line just kind of outlining your entire composition. Helps me, um, um, I guess I controlled a little bit, so you could see it to the left there's some Diagonal lines are more on the vertical side, and there's some few um, horizontal lines at the very top, two at the very bottom corner, so it just kind of like pins everything down. I'm also a maximalist, so I like adding lots of lines, lots of detail, so I'm starting to make these dense little horizontal marks that surround this kind of like spine or central kind of diagonal line that's... Um, running through the middle of this um, abstract or non-objective picture right here. Uh, I'm just building on top of that, kind of the spine. And um, just, um, yeah, I think there are a lot of continuous sort of straight edge sort of lines. So I wanted to do, be a little more, kind of make it look hand rot and scratchy. Um, to counteract that really strong focal point, I'm going to the left and the right making more of those horizontal kind of staccato type of marks building on top of those again increasing the density implying that there's some sort of gray to um, just make a more diverse value pattern or kind of introduce shadows as well as light and this is through optical mixing again we're not using gray paint we're only using black ink on white paper so that's like optical mixing I added some vertical lines, very thin, uniform at the um, bottom area of the drawing. And then added some thick lines with the permanent marker just to bring back some of that contrast or a lot of those sort of just those thin felt tip marker lines. So you don't want to get too unified or uniform or it gets a little dry. And um, yeah, that's the, the finished drawing there. Um, I hope you found this helpful and um, please make something that looks totally different. That's what makes this line dynamics assignment so um, invigorating is just the whole, you know, slew of things that you can do with just a line. And that brings us to the end. And I've included this little horse booty cartoon. I still have a 12 year old sense of humor. Um, hope you appreciate that. And um, yeah, thanks so much for your time. You have a, a great day and enjoy lines.